Alright, so I'm going to do another oil flush video. Uh, this one hopefully will be a little bit more comprehensive. Uh, so this is my 2013 Ford Territory. Uh, it's got a 2.7 litre V6 common rail turbo diesel engine. Uh, it's also found in some Jaguars and some uh, Land Rover Discovery 3s, I think, before they went to the 3 litre V6, which is of the same family. Uh, but anyway, so the video that, I've, uh, that I'm going to be making, um, similar to one of my previous ones, use an oil flush, um, fill it up with some fresh oil, and uh, obviously change the filter. So um, unlike my previous videos, we're going to have a little bit of a look inside the oil cap. Now this has 15,000 kilometer or 12 month service intervals. Um, so it, it's not uncommon to see a bit of, bit of build up um, if you're not using a, a full synthetic oil. Um, this is actually a group three full synthetic, so it's a hydrocracked group three um, synthetic. It's not a uh, group four PAO ester oil, so we'll go into that at a different stage. But uh, nonetheless, it's very, very good oil. It actually meets all of the Ford uh, requirements. Um, it falls down, so it meets all of these requirements. Uh, and that's the Ford one there. I think it's 913B for this engine. Uh, but look, anyway, so what we'll do, the engine, I've just gone around the block for about five or ten minutes. Uh, sorry, probably about ten minutes. It's it's nice and warm. It's not hot, but it's, it's warm. So you, you want the engine warm to do an oil flush. Uh, the directions are on the back here. So it says to... Um, uh, directions add one bottle for up to six liters of oil uh, start engine and let idle for 10 to 15 minutes stop engine completely drain whilst oil is still warm change oil filter and refill with a quality engine oil um, I don't like adding this stuff on a cold engine cold engines is when you need the protection um, a lot more than well I mean you, you need protection all, all around but I like doing it on a warm engine anyway so it's, it's warm uh, we'll have a bit of a look underneath You can see it still looks pretty clean inside there. So, yeah, it doesn't seem to be a lot of gunge buildup in there. But, um, you know, this has 90,000 Ks on it. Um, I'm just doing this because I'm doing the servicing on this now. It's it's out of warranty. Uh, being a mechanic myself, uh, I'm more than capable of doing the logbook servicing on it. So um, I'm just going to be doing the servicing here. So uh, I'll run a flu a flush through it every time I do it. As I said, it's it's a fifteen thousand kilometer interval. Whilst oils have changed and they've been they've gotten a lot better than well, some might argue that a synthetic is anyway. I'm doing oil flushes on it every every 15,000. Um, so, engine's nice and warm. I'll just put this down for a second because these are actually kind of hard to open with one hand. Okay, she's open. And it is literally as easy as pouring it in without spilling it everywhere. Spilt a little bit on the cover, no mind. Alright, now there's heaps of different brands. I think I've done a Penrite one, I've done a Newalon one. Um, any good brand will largely do the same thing. Right, so now she's added to the engine oil. Now all I'm going to do is put that back on. I'll just take the uh, filter out. And start the car. Okay, so I'll proceed to let that idle for um, 
for the 10 to 15 minutes that it says. Just make sure that's what it says. Yep, 10 to 15 minutes. That's what it says to idle for. So um, then I'll drain the oil and uh, and we'll have a look see inside there and see if there's any other changes. Okay, so I've uh, just run it for 12 minutes. Uh, if you want to be precise, taking the uh, the engine cover off. Let's have a look. So you can. Yeah, well, I don't know. It wasn't really dirty before. Mind you, this is the old oil still, so I'll uh, change it up, show you what the oil looks like. Again, it's 15,000 Ks old, so the oil's gonna look dirty. Um, but this is what everyone seems to be asking in my other videos. Show us uh, some footage of the oil that you take out and the oil that you put in, so I'll, that's what I'll do. Alright, you guys wanted to know how dirty the oil comes out after an oil flush? Just grabbed a random spanner. Yeah, this is pretty dirty. Pretty black. Very, very black. Hopefully that's uh, a good sign as the oil is uh, what they would class as the medium to carry and suspend the deposits and not actually have them deposit themselves around the engine. So dirty oil isn't really a bad sign. So that's the oil. That's the oil filter that come out of it. Again, a dirty oil filter is good because it's the dirt is meant to stay in here or the the carbon and the gunge and all that is supposed to stay in here not in your engine so the idea of the oil is to carry it from the engine and deposit it in here and get stuck in here so you change this and throw it out i know that sounds pretty simple but that's essentially one of the main functions of oil aside from lubrication so i've changed the oil filter in this uh, it's a pretty easy job to do. It's basically this. It's a 32 mil um, hex. So you crack that off. You wind it all the way off. It's basically a, uh, a canister. You pull the filter out of it and then you clip the new one in. Uh, you put on the new o-ring. That's the old o-ring sitting in there that seals that to the housing on the engine. Uh, put it back on. Uh, there's a torque setting for people that want to put a torque setting on an oil filter um, and yeah put the sump plug back in and fill her up with oil so that's where I'm up to now all right we'll uh, fill her up with oil let it run for a little bit and I'll uh, pull the dipstick out obviously when you're checking the final measurements of your oil and show you how clean the oil is uh, after that I mean it should be pretty clean anyway but uh, nonetheless we'll do the video